Typically, the Democrats have been warmongers. It's very, very sad to say, but because they tend to be kind of moralistic that mm. we will go and support this. Mm. And the Republicans, which mm. are more conservative and fiscally oriented, like this is why we're spending this money. Mm. And Trump just says it in a more blunt manner, mm. that why should I be paying for Europe's war or for Taiwan's war? Mm. Let them pay their own bills. Mm. So I think if Trump comes, the way the betting markets now seem to be suggesting, you get a lot of these wars wrapping up quickly. There will mm. be some negotiation and settled. Mm. But he's also a tariff guy. Mm. And he wants make America great again. Mm. You put tariffs up, it's inflationary. Mm. You cut taxes, it's inflationary. Mm. It's bad news for bond markets, mm. as you said. Mm. It may be great for equities in the short run, but when you get inflation, you get rising rates. Mm. And you get currencies weakening. Mm. Which is why the trade this decade, I still feel, is hard assets. Mm. And precious metals, gold, silver, uranium and stuff like that. And uranium, silver are playing into this energy, data center, AI theme, mm. because you need all this mm. uh, for the amount of energy these guys are going to consume. Mm. So whether it's Trump or it's Kamala Harris, dollar has to weaken, inflation has to come back. And it's just that the Democrats will probably let these wars linger on for longer. for watching CNBC TV 18 for all top headlines and updates follow us on our social media platforms